guys, I'm Cherry and I just came back from um, the Unbound Thailand July 2018 trip. It was an awesome experience and um, so I joined the program because I, I came across uh, I came across the uh, organization on Facebook and I had a look at their website and I saw what real cool design projects they did and them ha um, going to a different country and volunteering and making an impact is something seemed really interesting to me and it was a experience that I could not um, leave uni without doing and I've really I've also heard pretty good stuff about it from friends that have done it and um, yeah so I thought why not give it a go and I've always wanted to travel overseas alone what better to do it than with a student group so I know that I would be comfortable yeah um, how will you describe your online tour in Amsterdam so a lot of people have already asked me what my experience was like and I always tell them it was the best experience of my life. I had so much fun. Um, I got put together with 16 other students that were all so very different from all across Australia and they're the kind of students that I personally probably would not have approached at uni but being put into a group it was really nice to make some new friends and everyone was just super lovely and going to a community and having a chat with the locals, interviewing the locals and working with them they were just so welcoming and so heartwarming that a lot of them said they loved us when they left. Someone gave me a little card that said I love you. It was just, it was just a wonderful experience. Um, in terms of the projects, it was just... Sorry, what was, tell me about the project you were working on that probably never heard from yourself. So in terms of the project, I was um, working on the health project and that meant um, just interviewing the locals and seeing what areas of health they need improving on. Um, it was a little bit difficult, I would, I'm not going to lie, because when we interviewed them, their main issue was they wanted an ambulance because it's an elderly community and they wanted some sort of emergency response so that if something happened to one of the elderly living alone, there would be a quick response for them to go um, to the hospital. This was a little bit difficult for a student group of four people with the limited time frame of about four days in the rural community. However, we delved deeper and we were um, we figured out that they had a lot of oil and sugar in their diet and just interviewing their health conditions. A lot of them said that they had high blood pressure or diabetes ran in their family. So we're hoping we're hoping to solve this issue in the sense of educating them on how to not cure their um, health issues but prevent or make it less um, chronic so we focused on their diet and nutrition and just aiding them or educating them on how to better use their fruits and vegetables and we understand like they do use really fresh fruits and vegetables but it's always cooked in oil or a lot of salt or added sugar and you won't believe how much sugar is added in all of their food products so it was a it was a very different experience and um we were hoping just to help them educate the youth on better diets and we also found out that they believed that the children were gaining more weight so just help um, tackling those little issues here and there. Um, something that surprised me was ooh, I, I never thought that I would actually get along so well with a random group of students. Um, I'm, I, I believe that I'm pretty sociable, but getting comfortable so quickly was just, it was just mind blowing. Like I just had so much fun and I just got so comfortable with my roommates. Like I was very nervous having a roomie, but it was actually so much fun. Um, what other things surprised me? What surprised me was how well everyone worked for, like how well we all worked together. We didn't have any problems with each other, there was no issues, there was no fighting, everyone just got along so well, everyone was working towards one goal, it was, it was really fun. Um, tell me about one of the highlights of this program for you so far. My main highlight, so the program's over, but my main highlight of the trip was, mm, I think for me it would have been the rice planting I found that a lot of fun just being being a farmer getting down and dirty and then dancing we had a little session where um, they played their traditional music 
and we were dancing with the farmer. It was it was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. It was probably my highlight and the tuk tuk tours was a really fun experience as well. I love the tuk tuks. They're um they're dangerous but safe at the same time. Um what else did I really enjoy? I think those were my main highlights. Um what effect do you mean? So the effect I believe this experience will have on me is that um, I believe I will work better in terms of being thrown in, into a new job with randoms that I don't know or even being asked to work overseas for uh, for my job. It's just, I feel like it's really helped me on my personal, on a personal level in terms of integrating myself into an unknown situation, unknown environment and really working together with a team of strangers for a common goal. Um, I've I've always just been very worried about being thrown into a group of random people and just I've just been worried that I would come across as stupid or I would come across as not very knowledgeable or just just um not taken seriously or not being considered part of the team but I I feel like this has really helped me integrate myself into a new environment and new condition it was just and hopefully it will help me um, better myself when I uh, work overseas for my current company. Well, the goal is to work overseas. I don't know if I will be um, for fun. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself with the tagline, but hopefully I can introduce myself now and you can probably just edit it at the front. But yes. Um, So my name is Cherry and I'm designing solutions for social change in Thailand.